Hello friends, I am Mary Miss from SCM School. Today I am going to teach class 8 maths lesson number 1 rational numbers part 2. In the previous video you had learned about the two properties, closure property and commutative property. Today we are going to learn the third property that is associativity. For any three rational numbers, A, B, and C, first we will learn for addition. Addition A plus B plus C together in bracket is equal to A plus B together plus C. That is, to find the sum of three rational numbers, either we can take the sum of second and third, then we can add with the first. Or we can find the sum of first and second rational number, then add with the third. Both the cases, we will get the same answer. We can verify it with the help of an example. That is, 1 by 2 plus, then in bracket, 3 by 5 plus minus 5 by 6 is equal to bracket, 1 by 2 plus 3 by 5 plus minus 5 by 6. Now we will verify by calculating LHS and RHS separately. LHS equal to 1 by 2 plus, then we have bracket 2 rational numbers with different denominator. 5 and 6 LCM is 30. So numerator become 18 plus minus 25. So equal to 1 by 2 plus minus 7 upon 30. So again, you have two fractions with a different denominator, LCM equal to 30. Simplifying numerator become 15 plus minus 7 is equal to minus 8 upon 30 is equal to 4 by 15. Now we will simplify RHS. RHS equal to, we have two different fractions with the denominator 2 and 5. So 2 and 5 LCM is 10. So numerator become 5 plus 6. So plus third fraction minus 5 by 6 is equal to 11 upon 10 plus minus 5 by 6 is equal to again we have to take LCM of 10 and 6 that is 30. Then numerator become 33 plus minus 25 equal to 8 upon 30 equal to 4 upon 15. So LHS equal to RHS. Therefore we can say that Addition is associative for rational numbers. Next, we are going to discuss about subtraction. Subtraction does not follow associative property. That is, we will check is 2 by 3 minus in bracket minus 4 by 5 minus 1 by 2 equal to in bracket first to two rational number minus 2 by 3 minus minus 4 by 5 minus 1 by 2. We will check whether we will get the same answer or not. So LHS equal to minus 2 by 3 minus then in bracket we have two rational number with a denominator 2 and 5. So LCM is 10 simplifying minus 8 minus 5 numerator. So it is equal to minus 2 by 3 minus minus 13 upon 10 is equal to, again we have two rational number with a different numerator, simplifying with LCM you get minus 20 plus 39 upon 30 equal to 19 upon 30. Now we will take RHS, RHS equal to, first we have two fractions in the bracket, so taking LCM and finding the difference, 15 becomes the LCM, numerator is minus 10 minus minus 12 upon 15 minus third rational number 1 by 2 is equal to 2 upon 15 minus 1 by 2. Again, simplifying by taking LCM, we get 4 minus 15 upon 30 is equal to minus 11 upon 30. Here, LHS and RHS values are different. Therefore, LHS is not equal to RHS. Therefore, we can say that subtraction is not associative for rational numbers. Now, let us discuss about the third one that is multiplication. If A, B, C are any three rational number, A multiplied by B multiplied by C equal to A multiplied by B multiplied by C. This is associative property for multiplication. That is to find the product of three rational numbers. Either we can take the group of first and second, then multiply with the 
third or take the group of second and third then multiply with the first rational number both the cases we will get the same answer now let us verify with the help of an example 3 by 4 multiplied by in bracket minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 5 equal to bracket 3 by 4 multiplied by minus 1 by 2 outside multiplied by 2 by 5. Now you take LHS. LHS equal to first two rational number 3 by 4 multiplied by your bracket simplifying 2 and 2 can be cut then that is minus 1 by 5. So 3 by 4 multiplied by minus 1 by 5 then the product is minus 3 by 20. Now take RHS. RHS equal to you have two fractions in the bracket you have to multiply. So 3 by 4 multiplied by minus 1 by 2, that bracket become minus 3 by 8. Then multiplied by the third rational number 2 by 5. Now we have again two rational numbers to multiply. Multiplying 2 can be cut with the rational number and denominator 8 with 4. So the product it becomes minus 3 by 20. Both LHS and RHS have the same value. So we can say that LHS equal to RHS. Therefore, we can say that multiplication is associated for rational numbers. So we can say that to find the product of three rational number, we can find the product of any two numbers in any order and then multiply, we will get the same answer. Now let us discuss the fourth one operation is division. That is A divided by, then in bracket B divided by C is not equal to A divided by B divided by C. That is, if you divide the rational number by changing the bracket, then we are not getting the same answer. We can verify it with the help of example. Example, 1 by 2 divided by in bracket minus 3 by 5 divided by 2 by 3 is not equal to bracket 1 by 2 divided by minus 3 by 5 divided by 2 by 3. Now we'll take LHS and RHS separately and simplify. So LHS equal to 1 by 2 divided by that in bracket we have last two rational number. So it is division, we have to change it to multiplication. So 1 by 2 divided by in bracket minus 3 by 5 division change into multiplication reciprocal is 3 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 divided by minus 9 upon 10. So that is equal to 1 by 2 again division changing into multiplication reciprocal is minus 10 by 9. So 2 can be cut with the numerator 10 then left is minus 5 by 9. Now if you take RHS, RHS equal to first we have bracket 2 rational numbers division. So we have to change into multiplication. So 1 by 2 multiplied by reciprocal minus 5 by 3 again divided by 2 by 3. So the first full bracket on simplifying you will get minus 5 5 by 6 then divided by 2 by 3. Now it is equal to again division change into multiplication minus 5 by 6 multiplied by 3 by 2 is equal to minus 5 by 4. Here LHS and RHS values are different. So LHS is not equal to RHS. Therefore we can say that division is not associative for rational numbers. So from this we can generally say that Addition and multiplication are associative for rational numbers. Subtraction and division are not associative for rational numbers. Let us conclude today's video. We will discuss the remaining properties in the next video. Thank you.